I'm Froggy, and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. Only got paper and your dolls are hungry? Don't worry, we got the crafts for you. From nachos to ramen, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am going to make a burrito for our dolls using paper, color pencils, a candy wrapper, and glue. I start by taking a cream colored cardstock and a light brown colored pencil and I just start making little dots and little tiny shaded areas. I'm coloring very softly so it kind of just fades here and there. Now I'm going to use a darker brown to make little spots, cut a circle, then crumble it up. This will give it texture and make it easier to fold. I take colored cardstock and cut it into thin strips. I cut brown, white, green, light green, yellow, and red. I am going to use all of these colors for the filling in the burrito. By cutting small sections, crumbling them up, take the tortilla, lay it face down, I place the brown paper on the bottom, leaving a little space before the end. Add yellow paper for cheese, white for sour cream, green for lettuce, I like to add two shades of green, and then red on top for the tomatoes. I work to bunch them all together, and I even fold over the bottom end to make sure all the pieces are secured inside. Cover the end with a layer of glue, apply glue to the inside of the tortilla, place the filling inside, fold over the back end, then fold over one of the sides, then the other. Trim it, push the remaining paper into the tortilla, being careful not to rip it. I take a clear drying glue like Mod Podge and carefully apply it to just the filling. The glue helps to make the paper a little easier to move so you can kind of mush it into place. Once it's been covered, allow it to dry. Cut a piece of a candy wrapper, wrap it around the bottom of the burrito, crunch up the end to make a foil wrapper for the burrito. Take leftover tortillas and shredded paper, bend the paper to make a cylinder. Well, it's as much of a cylinder as I can make. Place glue on the inside of the tortilla, place the filling near one side then fold up the ends, pull over the shorter side, and roll it to make a closed burrito. Add the foil to one end to create a simple and quick meal for the dollhouse. This is a fun paper craft that can be done in an afternoon, and it allows you to recycle old gum and candy wrappers. This one almost looks like a steak burrito. When I applied the glue, the paper got a lot darker. So let's try it again with a lighter color. This is almost like a paper bag color. Yeah, that's better. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! paper craft. I am going to make ramen noodles for a doll using computer paper, cream colored cardstock, green paper, a round bead, toothpicks, a clear drying glue like Mod Podge, watercolors, nail polish, and glue. Using a paper cutter, I start by cutting computer paper into thin strips. Cut several, take a toothpick and a strip of paper, Roll the paper around the toothpick. And I'm trying to get this as straight as possible. When I get near the end, add a little glue and attach another piece of paper. Then continue rolling. 
until I reach the desired size. This is about 12 pieces of paper. Remove it from the toothpick, place it on top of a bead and push down so that it takes the shape of the bead. When you remove the bead, you'll see that you've created a bowl. Place it back onto the bead, take clear nail polish, paint the outside, allow it to dry, then paint the inside. Once dried, the paper will hold its shape. And I used a little bit of nail polish to fill the hole at the bottom. I take a bowl, add a little Mod Podge and some brown watercolor, stir, carefully fill the bowl with the mixture, cut cardstock into thin strips, curl the strips around the toothpick, and it doesn't have to be perfect, we're just trying to curl the paper. Place it on top of the glue mixture, pushing it into the glue very gently. Allow it to dry, and this may take overnight. Cut colored paper for toppings. I went with green paper thinly cut because I like chives on ramen noodles. Use clear Mod Podge. Glue the toppings into place and add a clear layer of glue over the noodles. Let it dry. Take two toothpicks. Trim them to about an inch and a half. Use a nail file to sand the raw edge to a slight point to make a pair of chopsticks to go with our bowl of paper ramen noodles. This is a fun paper craft, and now our dolls can enjoy one of our favorite foods. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make cans for a doll using recycled computer paper, a toothpick, craft paint, pictures from newspaper ads, clear packing tape, can label printables available at myfoggystuff.blogspot.com, and glue. I start by cutting the paper into thin strips. Curl the paper around a toothpick, add glue to secure the end. After making tubes of different sizes, I paint them with craft paint, cut pictures out of the newspaper, or download and print labels from myfoggystuff.blogspot.com, and here are a few printing tips. For a large doll like an 18 inch, I set my printer to print one copy per page. For a smaller doll, like a 12 inch or a mini doll, I made four copies per page or six copies per page. Carefully cut out the label, apply glue to the back, then wrap the label around the can. For more detail, I can cut out small printouts of nutrition facts and glue them in an empty space. And if my label is not big enough to go all the way around, I just add two. I can choose to leave the tube unpainted and add a label for disinfectant spray. I can glue three together, glue on a label for paper towels, then wrap it in a piece of clear packing tape. And you're done. Happy crafting! I'm going to make pasta for a doll using cardstock, printables from our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com, a toothpick, a toilet paper roll, a nail file, recycled paperboard from a cereal box, craft paint, 
recycled computer paper, toilet paper, popsicle sticks, Mod Podge, a bowl of warm water, and glue. I start by cutting cream colored cardstock into thin strips. After cutting several, gently place them in a warm bowl of water. Allow them to soak for a few minutes, remove it from the water, and then kind of just twist it around your finger. Place it on a flat surface and allow it to dry overnight. Once completely dried, brush with a layer of Mod Podge. Take a piece of toilet paper and tear it into shreds. Wet it and squeeze off the excess water. Add glue and paint, stir, carefully add some to the top of the pasta, then allow it to dry. Mix Mod Podge in a tiny drop of paint, paint it over the toilet paper mixture, cut the bottom of a toilet paper roll, trace the inside on a cereal box, cut it out, fit it inside the tube, glue it in place, cut two U shapes out of the leftover cereal box, bend, and glue them to the sides. Cut another circle that is slightly wider than the tube, then cut another piece of the cereal box to glue on top with a bend in the shape of a handle. Paint them. I chose to paint the inside white and the outside blue. Then speckled it with white paint, brushed the edges lightly with black to make a pot with a lid. Cut thin strips of yellow cardstock, then place them in the pot to look like the uncooked pasta. Another idea for a pot is to make a wide paper roll. Wrap it with more paper that's a little higher to create a recess. Add handles and paint, then paint at the top with the extra pasta sauce to look like the sauce has been cooking. Roll recycled paper around a toothpick, use glue to secure the ends, paint the top and bottom silver, we use printable can labels from our blog, cut them out and glued them on to make cans of pasta sauce and tomato paste. Cut out the box printable and the small rectangle. Glue the rectangle onto a cereal box, cut it out, use it as a pattern to trace several more, cut stack glue, fold the printable on the lines, make small cuts at the ends, wrap and glue around the paperboard to make a box of pasta. Cut popsicle sticks down to size, sketch the outline of a spoon, sand it with a nail file, making a small dip in one for a spoon, glue cut pieces of a toothpick to the other to make a pasta scoop. We remove the top from a spice jar to use as a plate. Using some ideas from the shoe rack in our doll dressing room, only this time we made the top out of skinny sticks then lined it with ones that are facing up. We made the legs thicker by gluing together three skinny sticks then added the shelves. To make a kitchen island, cut cardstock then wrinkle them to make basil. And you're done. Happy crafting! I'm going to make nachos for a doll using construction paper, wood cutouts, cardstock, tissue paper, craft paint, Mod Podge, a black color pencil, a toothpick or straw, and glue. I start by taking a manila piece of construction paper. Using a sharpened black color pencil, I begin making little tiny dots all over it. Once the paper has been covered, I begin stacking layers of paper with the good side facing out. The more layers, the thicker the chip, and the layers on the inside do not need the dots. I use glue between each layer, and I like to cut my paper down to a more manageable size so the glue doesn't dry too quickly. Once dry, I paint on a layer of Mod Podge, and I like using Mod Podge because it deepens the color and gives it a nice finish. While I wait for it to dry, I begin making the toppings. I cut red construction paper into small pieces, then glue them together. After gluing six to 10 layers, I cut them into small pieces for tomatoes. Repeat the process using green to make peppers. 
I roll a piece of black construction paper around a toothpick or straw, use glue to secure the end, cut off slices to make olives. I tear and crumble and I use a little touch of water to help get it nice and round. To make ground beef, glue several layers of white construction paper with one purple, then cut them into small pieces to make red onions. Use yellow for shredded cheese. Cut thin strips of green construction paper, then crumble them up for shredded lettuce. Now that the paper from my chips has dried, I cut it into circles, then into fourths, then eighths. I bend them to give them texture. But before I can arrange my nachos, I need something to put them on. So I cut a piece of cardstock, fold in the edges, make a small cut at the corners to make tabs at the sides, then glue into place to make a tray. Another option is to take a wood cutout, paint it with craft paint to use as plates. I begin arranging the chips on the plate using little drops of glue or Mod Podge to hold them in place. I use yellow paint for cheese, add a few toppings and allow it to dry. And if you want to make a taco, just bend one of the circles in half, glue in the ground beef, followed by glue, lettuce, glue, tomatoes, the shredded cheese, and a final layer of glue. I cover the nachos with a layer of Mod Podge as well. Use tissue paper for wrappers or to line the bottom of a tray. And you're done. Happy crafty! Thank you for joining us for this My Froggy Stuff mashup. Let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!